Hi everybody, aloha, welcome to my channel and our never-ending journey through my Hawaiian record collection. We are going to pick up where we left off. We're on the letter K and we are wrapping up. <clears throat> Got a couple more records from a Dutch group called the Kilima Hawaiians. Um, this is an album called Terang Bulan, 14 Golden Favorites. And these are all Indonesian songs, so I'm not going to even go through you know, what they all are, but... Uh, Indonesian language songs, Kronk Jong, as they call it, uh, and they are singing and playing a Hawaiian steel guitar to those songs. Uh, this one is the Kilima Hawaiians Isle of Dreams. This is a European release on a, a Dutch label, EMI, out of uh, Holland. It's a mix, uh, mostly vocals, but there's a, actually a good picture of the group. And this has uh, several different songs on it. Uh, Have a Happy Day, Singing Bamboo, Aloha Beloved, Sand and Sea, and several others. Uh, finally, by the Kilima Hawaiians, this one is in a very flimsy paper sleeve. I think I don't know what the story is. Also on the same label. Uh, does this have a year on it? 1975. Uh, this, I'm not going to try to pronounce it, the title, but it translates to Under Swaying Palms. And here they are performing. Uh, songs such as... Uh, Thousands of Flowers in Samoa. That's the name of the song. Uh, Under the Starry Sky of Hawaii. Moonlight on Tahiti. And others. I'm not going to read them all. I started like reading all of the songs on all the albums because I thought it was kind of interesting. But after watching a few of those videos, I'm like, that is just drags it way too much. Uh... Now we're up to an artist, Barry Kim, Hawaiian favorites. This is like super 80s, right? So 1980s. Magnum P.I., right? Uh, he actually, there's one album from him I don't have that I would like to get. It has a song called Honolulu, I'm Coming Back Again, which was a single, and it was quite popular. I really liked that song. But that album, wow, is like crazy expensive when I see it, and I don't see it very often, so... Uh, but this one I found, and it's autographed. It would appear to be, he is a performer and had shows in Waikiki, so it appears to me like this was a record that would have been sold at his uh, shows in Waikiki. Uh, so it has no, like, no label identification on it. And it has, uh, you know, primarily the, the Hapa Holly kind of visitor songs that they like. Hawaiian Wedding Song, Hukilau, uh, Blue Hawaii, etc. Paniolo Country is on here. And then a song called I Wish You Forever Hawaii. <coughs> Here's an album by Kimo and Sunny called By Request. This is on Broad Records by Gordon Broad. Uh, ran, ran broad, broad Records. Uh, Let's see, their full names, Kimo Garner, who is the sister of Loyal Garner, the brother of Loyal, the brother of Loyal Garner, <laughs> and John Sonny Cooney. Um, this is uh, primarily Hawaiian songs, and then there are a couple of English language songs, and a really bizarre sort of disco version instrumental of Rhapsody in Blue, which I really dig, but it seems really out of place on this album. Next up, Mr. Audie Kimura. What can we say here? Um, Singer-songwriter, right? And uh, was had a big hit here, very big hit, uh, with a song called Lovers and Friends. You'll find in Hawaii, uh, when they're on the English language pop stations, when Hawaiian artists will do a song to kind of play to that audience, I don't know what it is, but people in Hawaii, they love, like, a really, really sappy, emotionally love song that's just, like, kind of like, you know, your high school love songs, and you're writing little notes to your sweetheart, and 
I will love you forever and ever and blah blah blah. It's kind of like they love those kind of songs. And songs about moms and dads. Yeah, really. Uh, so he hit the bank with Lovers and Friends. Um, and actually, it was picked up on easy listening radio on the mainland in the 80s. Some of the easy listening stations were playing Lovers and Friends. Uh, and then the rest of his music is pretty much the same sort of thing. It's like all kind of emotional. Not Hawaiian. The subject matter is not Hawaiian. Just 1980-something this is. Falling. Love has arrived. Moments. Mellow kind of love. The song is, the album is called Looking for the Good Life. And he did a follow-up of just the same kind of music. Uh, a Gift of Song. 1985, uh, Melody and Harmony, Stay a Little Longer, With Your Love. I don't think any, nothing on here really hit in the way, you know, like Lovers and Friends did, but. Here's a great record. If you like, you know, easy listening, The King Sisters, Aloha, with a steel guitar from Alvino Ray, who was married to one of the King Sisters. I don't know which one. Great graphic on the back. Um, these are your typical songs, you know, uh, On the Beach at Waikiki and Sweet Leilani, etc. There's a song that one of the King Sisters wrote on here called Hawaii is Calling Me, which I think is like an exotic, a classic. It's an amazing song. Um, if I haven't already, I'll put it up on Hawaiian Leisure Hour, so check for that song. Hawaii is Calling Me by the King Sisters. It's great. And interesting arrangements and kind of all over the place and real tight harmonies. I don't know if you're familiar with the King Sisters, but they were pretty cool. Uh, Virginia King, the last record I think we'll look at today. Virginia King, a Kamawela girl. This is on Ka uh, Makaha Records, uh, sort of in her... As you can guess from looking at the cover, this is a somewhat country, Paniolo kind of record from the Big Island, Kamuela. And some of these song tracks on here are country songs. Send Me the Pillow You Dream On, There Goes My Everything Satisfied Mind. And then Hawaiian songs uh, as well. Uh, and Tahitian song and uh, Indonesian song. Uh, Tahitian song, so a little bit of everything here. Um, really nice voice. This is the only record I know of her other than uh, one that was done for Songs of Guam. I don't know what the story is there, but she and some other artists uh, are recording a, a collection of songs written about Guam. Otherwise, this I think is the only other record by her, A Kamuela Girl. So, let's stop there and listen to some samples of some of these records. I'll be leaving soon for the thrill I enjoy It's not the island moon nor the fish in the boy It's just a little brown gal in her little grass skirt In her little grass shack in Hawaii I want to go back to my little grass shack In Kealakaku, Hawaii Aan the strand Onder palmen Daar sprak ik tot haar mijn Zij toerde mee met bloemen en haar hart ging toen met mij aan boord. Duizend bloemen op Samoa, wie hen zachtjes in de tropen I'm 
enjoyed that. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the baby crying in the background, but the joys of apartment living. This is how it is. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that and uh, you'll join me again. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to hear more, and check out Hawaiian Leisure Hour on 8tracks.com. There I have uh, curated playlists of songs from my record collection you might enjoy. Also Hawaiian Leisure Hour on YouTube another channel that's just music, and Hawaiian Hi-Fi, which is a 24-hour uh, radio station I have on live365.com. So many different options there to hear more selections from my Hawaiian record collection. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.